Okay, so today I'm going to show you how to reprogram this RFID lock if needed. This is the RFID-2B-B. The dash B is black. The finish on this one is black. We also have a dash G, which is gray. Um, I already put batteries inside of here. It takes two AA batteries. Um, when it comes to you, well, here's everything it comes with. It comes with the lock. It's going to come with the striker to engage in the lock. It will come with one manager card, labeled manager card. It's going to come with two blue user fobs. It's going to come with an insulation template. It will come with some insulation instructions, some general instructions. There will be a QR code on there. When you scan it, it brings you to this video. Um, it's going to have the hardware needed on it. And it comes with this cable, and this cable basically plugs into the lock. The other end is USB. You could plug that into um, some kind of a 5 or 6 volt DC adapter to power the lock if you wanted. Um, but do not use this cable. Do not use this USB port the same time as you have good batteries in your lock. Uh, the place on the circuit, both of these things go to the same place on the circuit and you will fry the circuit um, within about uh, half a second. So don't use both of these at the same time. I'm also going to show you, um, I'll just show you right now. There's also, you can get the optional power jack cable. And what the power jack cable is, it still has the port to plug into the lock here. The other end is a 3.5 millimeter port and it has a bracket on here. You would mount this typically with through your furniture like this. Um, you would bolt the, um, you would secure it from the inside. Uh, this is a little deep, but I could make it go one inch. You would drill a hole through your furniture. This port right here would sit flush with your furniture right here and you adjust that with these two screws here to make it sit flush with your furniture if something happens to the batteries on the lock any reason it's not getting uh, voltage you can plug in an external power supply we sell those um, you could also um, use a cable with like a phone charger or something like that to power the lock to open it and then uh, change out the batteries. Once again, don't use this. Don't plug something into here. That's a power. The same time you have good batteries in here. If you have low batteries, no problem. Plug it in. You're good to go. Uh, just try not to keep it plugged in there forever, but plug it in, open the lock, unplug your power source, change out your batteries. That's how that works. So I'm going to get into, um, so once you, when you first get it, to show you everything is programmed to the lock so the fobs are programmed to it <clears throat> the manager card and when you heard the fobs it only beeps once the manager card when you scan it it's going to keep beeping that means it will open the lock but it puts it in program mode so right now it's in program mode um, when it's in program mode, that's when you can add other fobs that aren't programmed to it. You just scan it and it's going to beep one time and come um, and it's going to keep beeping. You wait till it stops beeping, then it's programmed to that lock. Um, since this one's already programmed, it just takes it out of program mode right away. Do not scan your manager card. Do not let it next to the lock or you're going to hear it's going to start beeping and making noises and when it comes out of program mode how many ever times you scanned it it does different things to the lock so I did that four times and you can see what it did now the fobs instead of just beeping once it makes tones and opens and closes so the way to get rid of that um, you scan this manager card four times the first time counts as one that's one, two, three, four, 
you let it go. Now, when I scan the fob, it's not going to make those tones anymore. Okay, so let's say you get this um, and you accidentally push the reset button, which is right here. Or you just push it because you want to see what happens. So that just reset the lock. Now, the first card you touch to the lock after you hit the reset button becomes the manager card. I can touch any of these to be a manager card. Well, this would be a manager fob. So I'm going to use the same manager card again. So when I touch it, it's going to make those beeps and it's going to keep beeping. You have to wait for that to stop beeping so it sets the first card you touched as the manager card. Now this is the manager card. These cards won't work. Just beep three times. They're no longer programmed to the lock. Only the manager card is now because I just set it. Now to set the user fobs, you scan the manager card. It's beeping, so it's in program mode. Touch one fob to it. Touch the next fob to it. You hear a beep to indicate it read it. Just pull it away. Now let it go till it stops beeping. Now these are programmed to it. But as you can hear, it's making those tones. That's because when we set it in our warehouse here, um, we already take all those tones off of it. So you have to take those tones off of it if you hit the reset button. The way to do that again is you scan the manager card four times. So that's one, two, three, four. Let it go. Now when you do it, the fobs are only going to beep one time uh, for the indication. Also, just want to show you some stuff. So we do test all of these locks through one inch, inch and a quarter, and also inch and a half thick wood to make sure they work through it. You'll see here, you can hear it going through. It works no problem at all. That is, in essence, most of the things about this lock. If you have any other questions, you can always email us at info at lockconnection.net. You can also visit on the website, www.lockconnection.net. And this video, all of our videos, all of our product pages will have videos associated with them. Underneath uh, the pictures, there's going to be a row of words there. You probably can't see this. It's going to say overview, product video, reviews. Product video is right in the middle. That's where they're all at. Thank you very much. Have a good day.